Hello, uh, as part of this session, we will discuss about Pentaho Road Denormalizer and uh, Road Normalizer, how it will work. So here I have already designed this transformation and I'm using a data grid. And if you see the data available here, the sample data available here, customer ID, customer key and customer value. So if you look at the data, so customer ID would be 101, 101, 101 and key first name, last name, age and then the customer value, the related uh, name values and age and again customer ID and then followed by their keys and values. Now I would like to convert this to a denormalized form and then followed by normalized form. So what I mean to say here, say for example for customer ID 101, I would like to discuss here the format of denormalize. Say for example if you look at the first set of rows, three rows, the customer ID would be the same. First ID would be 100. And then followed by if you see key customer customer value first name. So first name and then followed by last name. I will use the same naming convention as in data grid. See here the values. Yeah. So this is like you know we are uh, denormalizing our data based on the key customer ID. This is actually I cannot say a uh, key. This is a group kind of thing. It is like a grouping with this value and based upon this key and then identifying the value. So key value and value field. This is the value field and this is the value actual value and this is the key and this is the key value. Okay. Now I have uh, drawn this row denormalized step to uh, workspace and then I have set the properties also. If you see first thing you have to select the key field customer key. We know customer key. What is customer key here? If you see here, customer key is something. This is the one. First name, last name, age. Okay. Again, for the next set, this is first name, last name, age. So, first you have to select the customer key. And then this is the same what I told, like a group grouping field. So, customer ID is the one grouping I need to do here for my requirement. Okay. So, if you see here. 101, 101, 101. Yeah, this is the grouping field. And then here is the actual uh, field needs to be set here. So this is the target field name that what I have set here. You know, this is the one first name, last name. So I have uh, given first name here. Like you have get, you can given uh, target, first name, target, last name, You are creating new set of fields. So target name, target last name, target age. And if you see here, value field name. Value field is nothing but what is the column name that you want to take it as a key. Okay, value field. So customer value is the one and key value, first name, last name, age, and their type. So no need to define any aggregation. So why it is aggregation means you can also I told you this is kind of a grouping right even if you have multiple values to be uh, set into column level okay row data into column level you can also perform all this operation it will do okay for now I don't require any aggregation here so if you want you can uh, apply aggregations so here once we set all this okay if you preview yeah if you preview this Yeah, you can see customer ID, target F name, target last name, target age. So I am just denormalizing this data using this step. So here the important thing to note down is key value and value field name. Okay. So value field name would be always this. Yeah. 
value field name so value field name would be this one cust value this is the cust value value field name and this is the key cust value okay. cust value and key value this is the key that we are using and next followed by i will convert again this denormalized data to normalization using row normalizer step so if you see here no row normalizer you need to set the type field so the type field is nothing but the one which you have been given as a key right you can supply that key and uh, target first name target last name target is these three are uh, fields that we have converted to denormalized so i have selected these three and then type so from this first name only we have extracted and last name and age these are the types we have represented in the previous example right so the same way we will represent over here and then this is the name of the field customer value customer value customer value okay when you preview this you will get like this customer key and then customer value so customer id so customer id i am not using here because it's a grouping grouping field so no need to supply here so this is all about uh, row denormalizer and uh, normalizer process so please do subscribe and i'll be posting more videos on pentaho tutorials thank you very much